Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me one of my favorite estate cars and this is the new Audi RS4 Avant. I think it's the perfect car if you want to have uh, a lot of space for your family and also sporty performance from a car. I think this new Audi RS4 is just perfect. I mean the fact that it has the estate shape of the car and the fact that it has those performance that I will explain you in this video, it make it one of the most desirable, the most beautiful and the most practical car in this class. And in this video we will uh, talk about, I will review interior, exterior and I will give you all the information about this new RS4 Avant 2020 version. Actually in 2021, if you wanna buy it, it's the same car. So uh, I will call it 2020 because it was released in 2020. So let's go guys. I will talk a little bit about the technical details and then we will go inside, outside. I will explain you uh, everything about this car. So stay with me. By the way, if you are new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the new video that will be released on my channel. Also. If you are from Switzerland, I will leave the link in the description to the Gauchi garage. Uh, if you want to buy it, if you want to test it, if you want to check out the price and other cars that they have, uh, check them out. We will start with the exterior design. And before that, let me show you the key, guys. Check this out. This is the key. It's a super nice key. It's a new key, by the way. It's not something usually that you will find it on Audi. So you have this RS logo here on this side. It's very light and nice key. Uh, and also I like those silver buttons. From here also, you can open the trunk. It comes with an automatic lift gate. So it's pretty practical. And other than that, of course, when you lock the car, it comes with electronic folding mirrors. So you can see right here. And all you have to do is just have the key in your pocket. And then when you go close to the car, open the door and then the car will open. You don't have to press any button because it comes with keyless entry so you can lock and unlock the car. Pretty simple from here, just like that, by having your hands right here. And also it comes with these amazing handles, to be honest, I love them. They are one of my favorite and it feels such a good quality when you touch them. Look at this, look how fancy they open it up. I love them. And I like also the quality of the door. You can hear the door. Amazing quality. Let's talk a little bit about the technical details. We have an automatic lift gate here on the engine part. And I wanna tell you that this new RS4 Avant come with a V6 2.9 liter petrol engine, 450 horsepower, 600 Newton meters. It's just insane how powerful it is for this car, for the size of the car. I mean, for the daily driving, uh, also, you can take it on the track if you want to. It's just insane. This is the array of the engine right here in the front. Uh, it looks gorgeous and also I like this plastic cap right here. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Also, you have the V6 there. You have also those three on the side and three on the side that illustrate the six cylinders that come with the engine. Other thing that I want to point out is that this RS4 Avant can do 0 to 100 in just 4.1 second uh, official but I see some tests that show that this car can do even under 4 seconds 0 to 100 is just insane and also it comes with adaptive chassis control so you have the possibility to drive in sport mode and those uh, suspension can be in sport mode and also can be in comfort mode when you drive normal you want comfort you put it in comfort you want sport mode they will stiffen it up a little bit and then you will have the best from all worlds also it comes with this split power differential so the car can split the power to maximum 70% in the front and 85% in the back of the power so we will give you the best performance also the brake will brake different in the curves so it will give you the best experience uh, in terms of handlings in terms of curves when we go to the rims in my opinion one of the most beautiful Audi makes such a beautiful rims and such a beautiful exterior of the cars and in my opinion they are phenomenal and also this red it's so beautiful also you can get it with a silver around the window if you want to but I think this is the best combination also the model that I have here with me it comes with ceramic brakes only the ceramic brakes I think they cost around 20,000 ventilated 
made and cross-drilled ceramic brake discs you can see there made in Germany high quality also it comes with six pistons you can see the Audi RS logo on the brake calipers you have Audi Sport you can see the rims they are special for those sports cars and Pirelli tires 20 inch you can see right here and they fit perfect and on the street when you drive the car it's insane if you want to see the test drive check out on my channel i already did the test drive probably it's on my channel if it's not just click the subscribe button to see when the video will come out and here in the back you have the same rs logo on the brake calipers ventilated brake discs and also cross drilled brake discs i love the rims i love the way they fit on the car in my opinion i would make the most beautiful uh, exterior of the cars these days before was BMW, but now, in my opinion, Audi take the position, take the first position in terms of design, even the lights, even the, the front bumper, the front grille, the hood, the skirt down there, the combination of rims and also the muscular body on the wings here on the side. It looks so beautiful. The lines is just insane, even in the back. Look at the back of the car, it's just super nice design. Even the roof spoiler up here. Guys, if you go to the roof spoiler, you can see the design, you can see the lines, you can see the shape of the roof spoiler. It looks crazy. And the combination with the glossy black plastic make it nicer. And the aerodynamic, by the way, the drag coefficient of this Audi RS4, it's 0.33. In terms of aerodynamic for an Avant car, 0.33 is just perfect. Keep in mind that on the right side, you have the tank, the petrol tank, it's here. On the right side, it's perfectly integrated in the body of the car. And look at these muscular wings here in the back. It looks beautiful. It's a little bit wider than the previous version. And it looks so nice, man. I like also that you have kind of a big window here. You will see when we go inside, you have great visibility in the back. Even if you have kind of a nice sporty design in the back here also the radio antenna it's in the same color as the car it looks really nice uh, also the roof rails here in the black look really good the car come also with the glass roof i will show you from the interior i really recommend you to get it it looks so nice and also the pack as i tell you before it has this glossy plastic around the windows that make a lot of sense i will get it like that for sure with this glossy plastic around the windows you can see even between the windows here the same glossy plastic and even down here it looks much much better even the mirrors here they have nice beautiful design beautiful lines glossy plastic great aerodynamic also you have led lights here on the blinkers on the mirror and also you have quite a nice and big in the same time they are aerodynamic but in the same time they are big enough so you will have a good visibility if I'm not wrong, the blind spot technology is somewhere here on the side. I will show you later when we go inside. And down here, we have a camera, guys. You can see here it's a camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera. So you will have these great, great parking cameras. When you want to park the car, you will park it without any problem. So I will show you later when we go inside the car. Other than that, if I go down here on the down part of the car, even here you have some beautiful lines, sharp edges on the door. You have this skirt here with glossy black plastic that looks just splendid. Those wings here are a little bit wider now. They, they make it wider. Also lines, beautiful lines, beautiful. And also the hood with the lines there is just splendid. Also here you have the full LED lights from Audi so in the night time you don't have to worry adaptive LED lights adaptive light there even the turning signals with those parallel lines look gorgeous I like the trim insertion there also you have here on the side kind of a, a black glossy element that make the car look much more sportier also you have kind of a fake air intakes on the upper side I see Audi use it a lot and those kind of black insertion here fake air intakes make the car look much more aggressive and nicer i don't know i like it you have glossy plastic in this area here and if i'm not wrong here it's also the radar uh, in this place right here uh, and if i'm not wrong it's also on the other side so those are the radars that help the car adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features i like the fact that you have glossy plastic here on the bumper you have air intakes here 
And you can see the air will go inside here and will go outside around the wheels of the car. You can see the holes here, so it helps the aerodynamic of the car. Other than that, beautiful design. Six sensors in the front. Those on the side are also for the blind spot technology and those are for the parking. Uh, going down, really nice deep grill in the front. I like the big grill. You have RS4 here logo, Audi logo, and then some air intakes with glossy plastic. Pretty nice. Also, we have the front camera under the Audi logo here. As I said, 360 degrees camera. And down here, nice design on the bumper. Overall, beautiful front of the car. Now up here, guys, you have another camera for the reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, light sensors, raining sensors are there, all that technology that work together with radars. We have kind of big windows. You will see in a second when we go inside that you have quite good visibility from outside. I think if you tint the windows here, they are not tinted right now, but if you tint those windows, the car will look crazy beautiful with this red combination. Now here on the side, you have also the same elements uh, as in the front and you have this chrome design that is different from the previous version uh, that looks quite better. You have, of course, following LED lights. The tail lights look beautiful. They are, as I said, Audi and Volkswagen Group make one of the most beautiful LED lights on the market these days and they look splendid. RS4 logo here on the left side, glossy plastic here between the tail lights then you have the reverse camera and led lights even on the number plate you have led lights a woody logo going down on the bumper this time we have six parking sensors again as in the front those on the side for the blind spot technology those are for the parking i like some light reflector down here also nice sharp edges and lines i like down here that you have a glossy black plastic that looks quite beautiful and then you have also some kind of elements here that make the car a little bit more sportier. And then you have the exhaust pipes on the both sides and they are real. You also have that clapper right there that it closes and open to give you more sound. If you want more sound, uh, you can open it up. If you don't want it, you can close it up and you will have a deeper sound. Automatic lift gate. Look at this, splendid open the tailgate here you have the buttons lock and put it down close it then you have here the led lights you have the triangle inserted here also you have some handles and then i like very much this system the way they integrate this system here i see it also on the bmw this system here it's all of you to have a better bigger entrance in the trunk and to be better organized right here and i like it very much you have such a big entrance you didn't expect in such a sporty performance car to have such a big entrance in the car here it's splendid i like that this one here it's very easy to adjust it to close it to put it here it's just cool i will take it out also for you so i will show you uh, how much space you have here in the trunk but overall if you look careful it's a huge huge entrance here in the trunk also i like very much this aluminium right here at the entrance that give you a little bit of high class and it looks really premium you have a space here for the medical stuff then you have some hooks i like even this led light here this strip of led light on the both side also give you a little bit of premium feeling something that you don't have in all the trunks even if in other cars are premium you don't find such a nice led lights then you have another storage here i like the fact that it's almost a flat floor maybe two three centimeters here but other than that it's super flat it's super big let me look under the floor you have the battery here and other than that you can also fit a few things down here also you have all that system differential system and stuff like that here so that why you can't expect to have bigger bigger space here also you have the repair kit right there so you don't have a spare tire you have the repair kit and other stuff right there under but other than that pretty big space uh, for a family to go in holiday without any problem now let me take this out and then we will continue before i take out all uh, i want to show you that you have also this protection that you can also add it here. For example, if you have a dog or something in the back here, you can also add this uh, net right there. Now, let me take this out as well. I just take out both of them uh, and then you can make an idea how much space you have here in the trunk. In my opinion, it's just 
fabulous to be able to have such a performance sporty car and nice looking design with a great aerodynamic and such a big space here i want to show you something for example here it's great that you can also fold down the middle part uh, but first of all i want to show you how can you fold down the seats so all you have to do is just press this button and then push it back just like that then on the other side it's super simple it's such a long trunk here and you can see right here if i go on the side pretty fast the head rests a little bit forward you can see that you have almost a flat floor right here and keep in mind that they want to keep the comfort of the seat in the same time if you want to have side support on the seats and comfortable seats you have to to make some compromise but i would manage to do this almost a flat floor there uh, and still keep that great performance high quality seats so in terms of seats in terms of quality i think they did a great job and look at this trunk it's just just perfect also it comes with that glass roof that i totally recommend you to get it uh, you can also open it up i will show you later and the visibility the space here it's crazy you can carry so many things here without any problem you have almost a flat floor also the quality here on the floor is just perfect huge entrance also here guys you have pretty big entrance at the car right here also check this out it's just insane how much space you have it's just perfect this space really really a lot of space you have also on the legs room here plenty of space and also good quality even here behind the seats now let me put everything back look how easy you put it back just like that in one second you put everything back it make it simple and i like that now guys if you want to fold down the middle part you have to open this first time and then down here you have a button like that also anyway or you can do it directly from here just like that put your hands here press this button and then fold it down um, just like that pretty simple in just one second you can fold down this part and then look at this you have a completely completely uh, flat floor in the middle so you can carry long items in the same time have two passengers in the back without any problem so pretty practical here in the back we have a big window from one pieces that's nice that means you will have a good visibility from the interior here all over the door guys i think 70 percent of the door it's soft material and nice even here on the upper side you have soft material then you have alcantara here in this area high quality and then you have leather right here on the armrest with red stitches that looks really impressive and beautiful also you have the button for windows electric windows you can see you can fold the windows not all the way down it will leave a little bit of uh, place right here because they have to compromise something in order to have great visibility from the interior uh, you have to compromise because the window will be not able to go all the way down in the door because the doors are a little bit smaller so you have to understand that for me it's not a problem i mean i don't even care uh, if i fold down the windows in the back i mean i never fold it down anyway if you have kids i don't recommend you to to fold down the windows in the back anyway now here on the door you have this carbon fiber uh, insertion here in the door you have also those beautiful handles unique and beautiful handles then you have a small speaker right here with glossy plastic insertion then down here you have another speaker bigger by the way the car come with bang and all of sense speakers amazing sound i mean in terms of sound you don't have to worry about anything some storage space here pretty useful uh, and pretty big for the size of the car the entrance in the car it's quite big as i showed you before and we go inside here you can immediately see the glass roof that looks splendid and i will show you a little bit later when we go inside uh, the way it looks also uh, you have these leather seats with red stitches insertion really beautiful shape really unique shape also even here the great part is that even here on this area where usually you have plastic in this audi rs4 avant you will find this leather beautiful leather soft material on the side for great great uh, support also the seat belt it is with a little bit of red on the side that look beautiful great idea 
Also the headrest are nice and adjustable. Side support, beautiful quality here. Also they are super comfy, super bright and long. And also you have side support right here. Isofix for child. You can install two child seats here in the back without any problem. And also I like this shape of the seat in the middle. So even in the middle, they, they kind of make kind of a side support here for the people in the middle right there and even here on the back. In the middle here, of course, you have these uh, cup holders. Okay, you open it up just like that. So you have also these cup holders right there in the back and also the armrest, very useful right here. You can open this up, put your phone here, high quality as well, beautiful. I like that. Behind the front seats, we have the sporty seats, RS seats. Uh, you have some kind of a plastic for protecting the seats. Storage space down here, pretty nice. And then we will go forward. You have a big transmission tunnel in the middle. Then you have these vents right here, pretty classic heated seats in the back for the passenger. Climatic system, you can adjust it from here, pretty simple. Then you have a 12 volt port down there. I like that and then let me go inside guys all right now they are working here and they make noise and we close the door the sound insulation it's quite good you cannot hear them too loud so the sound insulation inside Audi cars not only in this RS4 it's just gorgeous anyway let me go forward you have an, a handle hooks up here, hooks here, uh, also great quality uh, everywhere. Also on the roof, you have very good quality and also very good visibility from here. You can see also that roof. The seat in the front, it's kind of in my driving position. I also set it before and then check this out in the back. I have plenty of legs room. Incredible, incredible. In terms of legs room, of course, it's an Avant. What can you expect from an Avant car? Only a lot of space. And also you can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat because they allow you to fold down the seats electrically super down. So you will feel that sporty feeling. That's why you are not able to put your, your legs too much under the front seats. But for the purpose of the sportiness, it's just fine. Now look at this. Four almost five fingers up here amazing space i mean in terms of space i don't know how can they still make these super nice aerodynamic shapes and still make it so comfortable great visibility on the windows as i said before the fact that they make it from one pieces you have amazing visibility also soft material everywhere here leather make it super comfy you have another window big window here uh, that make it really really easy to look outside a lot of light come inside it's super nice up here also you have some led lights check this out and let me go in the middle yeah going in the middle right here and something that i tell you the fact that they kind of designed this middle seat uh, for the third person let me see wow pretty good look at the space wow really good really good the knee space usually in the middle is not so good on other cars now here we have four fingers fix four fingers a little bit less space but i'm quite surprised that here in the middle of course it's a little bit stiffer uh, on the back as well it's a little bit stiffer but still pretty good now i almost stretch my hand here not completely here it's completely yeah wow impressive you can have three person here without any problem i think even for long trips Maybe it will be not so comfortable in the middle because it's a little bit stiffer, but still, if I go a little bit in the front, yeah, it's quite nice. I have this headrest. It's super, super comfy, super nice. I like it. I like it. Now, guys, of course, the glass roof, we will talk in a second about it. We will go in the front there, but the front as well, we will talk about the dashboard, the new multimedia system, the center console and the other quality things right there. And then... We will end up this video also if you want to see uh, the test drive guys with this new uh, rs4 avant check out on my channel probably it's already there if it's not on my channel just click the subscribe button to see uh, the notification when the video will come on the channel and until then let's go in the front here on the front part also you have a big windows from one part great visibility on the windows soft material on the door the same as in the back then you have the same nice uh, handle lock and unlock buttons set the position of the electric seats you, can, you have two positions to save it also carbon fiber insertion then you have the glossy plastic 
Alcantara here, leather again with red stitches. Then you have the buttons for the windows for electric adjustable mirrors, handle. You have here again two speakers, one smaller here and another one down here. Then you have the button to open the trunk from here, electrically from inside the car. Storage space, quite okay. And that's the door. Also very good quality on the doors, in my opinion. Um, I like that. Then entrance in the car, RS4 logo here at the entrance. Aluminum pedals. Um, and then you have here electric adjustable seats. Uh, and if we go up here, you can also adjust the seats in the front part. And look at them, guys. This RS sporty seats look just phenomenal. I mean, in my opinion, one of the most comfortable and good looking seats uh, on the sport cars versions. And you have side support, you have these red stitches, you have this beautiful design with the red stitches, pretty wide. Uh, also down here, long and wide, you have plenty of space and also they are super, super comfy uh, to sit on them. Even if you want to drive comfortable, you have a best combination between sportiness and comfort. Also the headrests are fixed right here. Now going forward also, uh, we will talk about the dashboard. I like it simple and nice, uh, look beautiful. But before talking about those things, I want to show you that down here you have a storage space and it's not small, it's huge. I almost stretch out all my hand there so you can put here many things. I like that. Also carbon fiber here around those buttons, controllers for the light, fog lamps, uh, the brightness of the screen. You can adjust it from here simply like that. Then this is the head up display, turn it off and on and also change the position from here. Super simple. Then you have the vents quite nice good quality glossy plastic chrome design around here on the dash soft material on the dashboard everywhere as expected i didn't expect less uh, and also look at the carpets rs carpets look great let me go inside the car those seats here in the front are crazy crazy comfortable i really love them visibility around the windows is just very good very good visibility uh, for a sport car it's just perfect even in the back there you almost don't have any blind spot in the windows right there so it's just perfect now here in the middle you have this armrest also leather red stitches you can adjust it the way you want it you can open it up you have a USB-C port down here then you have the wireless charging for your phone you can leave your key here as well you have a 12 volt port then you have another storage space, smaller here. You have the controller for the volume, open up the multimedia system. Then in the center console here, you have electronic handbrake, auto hold, RS logo here close to this transmission. By the way, eight speed Tiptronic transmission come on this uh, RS4 and it's working like a charm. Uh, you have even Alcantara here on this gear shifter. It's just blended. Look at this parking button, illuminated with LED, beautiful, beautiful quality. Also, you can see down there um, the different position where it is. Now, going forward, glossy plastic here, beautiful. Then you have this kind of carbon fiber insertion right here, look beautiful. Then you have here some storage space for the key. And then you have two cup holders, start, stop engine button with red around it, beautiful. And then you have a USB 2, 12 volt port and some storage space down there in the front. And also on the dashboard here, guys, you have also this beautiful gray carbon fiber effect. Then you have the Quadro logo right here. The vents that go all over the dash look so beautiful. Um, I like them. I like the vents very much. The way they, they design it in this area. So they are together uh, like this. Also two vents here, some chrome design. Um, down here in the glow box quite big glow box good quality in the interior here of the glow box close it and then you have soft material all over the dash also you have look at the speakers there uh, bang and all of sand and you have two speakers something that i don't find on many cars is that you have two speakers on the a pillar look at this one two speakers three speakers here four speakers here and then another part the same story i told you guys the sound inside this car it's, it's gorgeous head up display you can see it directly right there 
pretty awesome you can see plenty of stuff like navigation like speed and stuff like that is directly on the windshield so the head-up display it's also uh, great now going forward you have the blinkers warning button is directly in the middle i like that the way they position it also down here you have some buttons like uh, parking sensors i think you can see it when you press this parking sensors button right here it will come on the screen this 360 degrees camera that i talked about a little bit earlier outside and you can see the resolution is very good you can see around the car what happened from here you can extend this and you can see the front camera you can see the side kind of 300 degrees the reverse camera you can see the side in reverse kind of the blind spot on the side again and then also on the side in the back pretty awesome in my opinion it's it's super super nice the way it looks and these 360 degrees camera are working like a charm also the car comes with the park assist so you can uh, it, it will help you park the car i never use this function but it's good to know that it's here traction control you can turn it off from here start stop engine button and driving mode those are really important in this uh, rs4 from here you can change different driving mode and you can see on the screen you have the comfort mode let me show you. comfort mode it will give you the best comfort in this car also the sound of the exhaust will be not so loud um, and then you have the auto mode it will choice for you how to adjust the acceleration the gear the, the gearbox the sound and everything and then you have the dynamic mode where it give you the best performance and then you have of course rs1 and rs2 and also you can configure those rs1 for example you can configure it you can change the driving system balance or dynamic uh, suspension comfortable balance dynamic i told you before it comes with this adaptive chassis control so dcc that works perfect i mean it gives you the best things that you need sporty you go in dynamic you have the stiffest suspension stiffer steering wheel great for for driving uh, sportively and then comfort perfect for daily uses steering wheel engine sound you can also choose how you like the engine sound um, and then you have quadro with sport differential uh, right here so you have this sport differential that mean the car is uh, able to send the power in the front in the back more like 85 percent in the back 70 in the front so it's great this quadro sport differential it's it's one of the best thing that I would implement in the last years also of course you can change the rs driving modes from here from the steering wheel you have this rs mode you can see also on the screen when you press it you have normal mode and then you press it once you go in rs1 and then rs2 and then you can customize both of them depend how you want it and you will have it already there for you now great that you see already that i like also this new kind of the new climatic system with physical button it's easy to use good high quality right here it's simple you have heated seat in the front for you and the passenger you have free zone climatic system you can control adjust super simple from here everything you want put it on auto it will do the job for you without any problem up here you have this new multimedia system the sun it's up now you can see it i hope you can see it a little bit it's simple to play with it i mean it's the perfect position right here you don't have to stretch out too much to reach this screen so you can go in different options and you can change different things right there without any problem so um, let me go a little bit and i will show you this multimedia system i already have a full review with multimedia system on my channel so you can check it out if you want to find out more details so you have shortcut button on the left side you go to home here is the home menu you have all the options here on the home menu also up here you have some extra um, information for example the update the online map and different information and also wireless and uh, user and stuff like that but the main things are here you have radio you have media telephone navigation that in my opinion of course one of the best navigation on the market you can see it pretty big on the screen right here um, and you have all the information you have a 3d map if you set for example a destination let me show you set a destination press the driving the it will it will drive there in, in no second i mean the processor the ram the power it's it's really good on this multimedia system and it's loading really fast i mean in no seconds it's directly there so that's really really cool 
Now, going forward, let me go back to home. Then you have the phone apps here. You can connect your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay through USB, keep in mind. Then you have the car information. Most of the important information are here. I would drive select, you see it before. And then you have the RS monitoring here while you're driving the sport differential, the gear oil, you can see it, engine oil, coolant, and then you can see different information right here. Uh, deceleration, this is the information about um, the G meter. Then you have the tire pressure here information. It's quite, quite interesting to be honest. Impressive, yeah. Efficient assistant here, it will give you some efficient messages and stuff like that. It will help you drive kind of economical. The seats here, you have all the settings of the seat. The car come with massage on your seat, so you can choose how you like it. And I think if I'm not wrong, it comes standard with those seat, massage seat, and also for you and the passenger. So it's quite, quite nice. And also stop it. And then you choose the intensity from here. So keep in mind that this RS4 Avant come with those massage in your seats, air circulation. Then you have the light and vision options right here. Um, you can choose the way you want to have it. Parking aid that you see it before, information, and you can activate, disactivate different things and driving assistance systems. Those are also very important from here. You have the speed warning, traffic light information. Yeah, by the way, guys, the, the car come with this traffic light information that it's incredible good when you set up the navigation. It will give you all the information about the traffic. It's a great, great new feature and it will show you the traffic lights uh, where they are. It will tell you before and it will help you. Distance warning, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, all that stuff, you have it right here. So you can activate or deactivate those uh, settings. Then you have the settings and service here, steering wheel buttons, central lock, garage doors. And I don't want to make this video very long, but you have everything here. Those are one of the most important. Then you have the settings where are also very important general settings. You have also extra information like pressure, you can change the kilometer miles and temperature Fahrenheit and stuff like that. And then date and time, you can see the license, the, the legal information, stuff like this. And then you have the brightness of the screen, head up display, MMI. So as I said, this is the new MMI and multimedia system. Then you have the language and keyboard here. You can change the language of the screen and of the car. The sound here, you can change different things uh, on the sound right here. Uh, pretty simple. So the travel, the bass and stuff like that. System maintenance here, updates and stuff like that. User connective devices. There is the wireless charging, media, navigation, telephone contacts. Yeah, you already know all that. So as I said, those are the main, main things. You have, of course, news. You can see the news. You can see the weather because the car is connected to the internet. So it's great. I mean, it's a very complex multimedia system. One of the best, in my opinion, on the market. And yeah, totally deserve the money. If we go forward here, you have the radio, you have the media shortcuts, you have the telephone shortcuts, you have the navigation shortcuts. So, yeah, I'm kind of done with this multimedia system. As I said, it's really, really good one. Uh, now, let me go to the cockpit, guys. The cockpit is also one of my favorite. Great resolution, great colors, and also it can be customizable and change the different things from here. As you see before, on this RS4 uh, or RS models, you will have this RS mode where it will get you directly on, in this RS mode directly, and also the head-up display will change. Uh, I will show you a timer there and also uh, the different information. And of course, you have the normal mode uh, that you will find it in um, A4, for example. And then from here, you can change the view. You can see it like that, or you can see it like that, or you can choose how you like to see. You can see also different information about the consumption in the last kilometers. Uh, for example, here, you can see here. So. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple. You can change different things. You have different information there. Also, you can change the view again. But if you want to have the navigation in the middle, you can have it like that all over the screen, almost. And you can set it the way you want it. So it's quite interesting how many things you can customize and you can change right there on the screen. So uh, from this point of view, the fact that you can customize it and change different 
things right there in the front, it, in my opinion, it's just uh, perfect. I mean, I love this new uh, cockpit that I would bring it on the market. Also, um, you can adjust the steering wheel, guys, manually from down here in the position, the way you want it, up, down, left, right. One of my favorite things, I leave it in the end, is that the car, this Audi RS4 that I have it right here, it comes with this uh, Alcantara steering wheel and I totally recommend you to get it if you buy this RS or an RS model, get this Alcantara steering wheel because it's, it's gorgeous, the grip, uh, the way it looks. The nice design is just wow. I mean, I love the grip on the Alcantara and I like very much the way it looks. Also, you have RS logo, you have the red stitches, you have different grip here on the steering wheel in this area. So you have amazing, amazing grip on this steering wheel. Also, look at the pedals to change the gear manual. You can change it also manual from here. Uh, the gears, it's just splendid. And then behind the steering wheel here, you have the cruise control controllers you can set the cruise control the speed for the um, adaptive cruise control and all other uh, functions and then here on the steering wheel you, you can see the, the voice command you have also the, the the sound and then on the other side you already see it those controllers for the cockpit so overall um, great quality really good quality up here the mirror nice tiny edges on the mirror right there looks super beautiful also here you have some touch LED lights on the roof right here super super nice quality also if you look closer there you have the SOS button microphones also the controller for the light and then here you have also this um, glass roof that I will show you in the second so yeah let me open it up for you guys right now because I promise I will show you check this out press it once you can open this first part and then you have also this insect protection here really awesome look at this how much it will open in the summer it's super fun to have it also close it just like that and then you have the option to close even this protection for the light and you can make it all dark inside here the car it's really really awesome i will get it with this glass roof make the car much more fancy and brighter now here you have also a mirror, fancy LED light here in the mirror. I like this so much handle. Overall, that's the car guys. I think I show you almost everything here. Of course, you have the option to change these uh, areas here, what you would like to have on the dashboard right here. But I like very much the way it looks like this. I think it makes a lot, a lot of sense, guys. I'm almost done with the video, guys. I hope you really enjoy it. I hope you will find some useful information in this video. If you like it, please like it, share it. That will mean a lot for me. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. To make a conclusion, uh, in my opinion, after I drive this car, if you want to see the test drive, by the way, check out on my channel. It's probably already there. If it's not, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. Also, my conclusion is that I would make one of the most beautiful, reliable, also practical cars these days. Amazing design, amazing technology. Uh, the engines are super reliable. The controller, the grip on the road, the, the sound insulation, the visibility, even the visibility in the, this mirror, it's just very, very good. I mean, they work on every single detail to make those cars perfectly. And yeah, I would, I would totally recommend you. If you want to buy it, you will never go wrong because it's a great car. Also, you have the link in the description. If you are uh, around uh, Switzerland, you can check them out, the prices in the car. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see the test draft, check out on my channel. If you like the video, like it, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you like the music, you have the link in the description. If you want to find out more technical detail, read articles and stuff like that, check out our website, sdadancar.com. I will leave the link in the description as well. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.